श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आलय करुणालय करुणालय नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमतहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम गुकारस्वंधकारो वै ुकारस्तवर्तक अंधकार निरूति गुरुरीय सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा साधन चतुष्टय संपन्नाधिकारीण मोक्ष साधन भूत तत्व विवेक प्रकार वक्षा साधन चतुष्ट किस्तु विवेक इहा मुद्राथ फल भोग विराग क्षमाषट संपत् 
ಮುಕ್ಷುತ್ತಸ್ತು ವಿವೇಕ ನಿತ್ಯವಸ್ತು ಅಯಮೇವಸ್ತು ವಿವೇಕ ಇಹಸ್ವರ್ಗೋಗೇಶು ಕ್ಷಮಾದಿ ಸಾಧನ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷಮೋದಮ ಉಪರಮ ತಿಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಶಮ ಹಕ್ಕ ಮನೋ ನಿಗ್ರಹ ದಮ ಹಕ್ಕ ಚಕ್ಷುರಾದಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ನಿಗ್ರಹ ಉಪರಮ ಹಕ್ಕ ಸ್ವಧರ್ಮಾನುಷ್ಠಾನ ಶಿತ ಉಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖಾದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ವಸ್ತು ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಹೇವ್ಸಿನ್ ವಿರಾಗ ಕಹ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿಹೇವ್ಸಿನ್ and now disciple is asking shamadi sadhana sampatti hi ka in among that we have seen yesterday shama hakka in answer is mano nigraha the meaning of mano nigraha means we should be a master of our own self that we have seen up to now dama hakka so dama hakka answer is given chakshuhu adi bahya indriya nigraha so i have this is without sandhi and i have break broken this sandhi chakshuhu then adi bahya indriya nigraha in <clears throat> subtle body we will see but in subtle body it's called ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಲೆಟ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಸಟಲ್ ಬೋಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ 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 ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಫೈವ್ ಜ್ಞಾನೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಫೈವ್ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಇನ್ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಮನ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಚಿತ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ಚಕ್ಷು ಆದಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಯಸ್ಟರ್ಡೆ ಜ್ಞಾನೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಾವರ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜಸ
चक्षु श्रोत्र रसना त्वक एन ग्राण चक्षु मीन्स आईज श्रोत्र इयर रसना इज द टंग त्वक स्किन ग्राण नोस बट वॉट वी आर सींग दिस इज नॉट इंद्रिय फ्रॉम वे द मीनिंग ऑफ चक्षु मीन्स पावर ऑफ सींग श्रोत्र मीन्स पावर ऑफ लिसनिंग रसना पावर ऑफ टेस्टिंग तक पावर टू नो ऑफ टच एंड ग्राण पावर ऑफ स्मेलिंग सो इंद्रिय मीन्स पावर ऑफ दिस बट दिस पावर ऑफ सी वेर इट मेनिफेस्ट वेर इट इज अपियर सो दिस आर द भगवान इज गिवन टू प्लेसिस फ्रॉम दिस दिस पावर ऑफ सी we can have access from external world same way this are called ears but really speaking indriya is not shrotram but power of hearing appear here we can hear from here so all what we are seeing external is in you know it will comes also but it's called golaka it is a places from where his senses can have access with external world so these are five gnanendriya karmendriya also hastah means hand padah means pair means legs jihva means tongue upastah urinal payuh postul this all five so these five and five where they are appear so it is written here that's why bahya our mind antakaran that's why antakaran we cannot able they don't have place we can access from external for mind or antakaranam but this particularly these two indriyas they always have their places externally that's why in tattva bodha it is written here chakshu aadi means etc bahya indriya they always out not inside paranchi khane vyatrana sam swayambhu so all 5 plus 5 we have that external they have their own places and with this they can access they can do transaction with one and generally this indriyas are not even in our control if chakshu say something flower has seen if if we gain we have gone in some shop and we have seen some thing even immediately we decided i should buy this so if rupa gananam the rupa is not something beautiful but me and the rupa is form so always chakshu form and color both same way if shrotra hear something and then mind can lose its temper somebody has something has told and our mind can be disturbed same way if we have taste something we can ask give me more tvak also it's all over the body this bhagwan has given a gift for us this grana means tvak means skin skin is a organ the skin is organ like heart is organ kidney is organ same way skin is organ but is external and because of this this is a one blessings from ishwara because we can have sense of touch all over the body if we don't have sense of touch somewhere in leg somewhere in feet somewhere toes if when we hurt something we never feel it so bhagwan has blessed us with this tok so everywhere we can have sparsha grahana we can feel pain we can feel everything so tvak is a gnanendriya is also external in gnanendriya if something we feel rough immediately we change the place because our skin says this is not good for sitting and same way gnanam so these are gnanam but this is a place golaka from where we can have the excess of smell so generally people say this is this, but it is only place golakas 
same way this karmendriyani hand really speaking this is hand but power of grasping something this power is called karmendriya power of walking it's called indriya but it reflects where the in leg that's why they have given this old names but they all are subtle this are stulam but indriya is subtle that we have to remember but that's why he has written here chakshu adi bahya indriya because we can access from external and what they are doing all indriyas passes the message to the mind ki today i have seen this i have i have seen this i have heard this and immediately mind starts analyzing and this mind starts demand so it's dhamma means we can have master on our all this 10 indriyas are called dhamma so i have shown you in down below in kathopanishad there is a one picture is given picture means actually there is a mantras i have cut also some mantras so this is all, all this i have shown is our arjuna and lord krishna so in in this chariot there is a one thing there is a chariot this all are horses this is somewhere rain is there yeah this is we can say is the rain this is called driver or chariot and here arjuna actually arjuna is the hmm, swami of jail that's why he asked lord arjuna uh, uh, krishna pratham sthapaya mechita he orders shri krishna in first chapter me ratha sthapaya is the agnat when we, when you start learning of sanskrit sthapaya is order you put my chariot between two sena armies that so this is called swami atma so in this kathopanishad they have given the imaginary he says atmanam rathinam vidhi one who are sitting inside jivatma called atma is who is the so one who is sitting here one who is the swami of this chariot then shariram rathamevatu our gross body this chariot is our gross body buddhin tu sarathim vidhi lord krishna is considered a chariot is a driver so one who is uh, keep under control of all chariot is called sarthi so our buddhi is considered as a chariot and manaha pragraham evacha in our mind so that's why i have written this mind is the rain indriyani hayan ahu all this five sense organ horses are all five sense organ indriyani hayan and vishayaha teshu gochira and in front of this all five horses if we can keep grass then what this horses will do they run towards the grass on same way our body is equal to ratha then horses are indriya mind manas is rain buddhi is driver let me put here driver chariot long sentence so this is the situation of our body if we have to drive proper our body if you direct a body properly then driver is should be necessary like in chair car also if you have to drive the car driver is necessary same way bhagwan has given this instrument 
by the name of body. So who is the driver? So he says, driver is our intellect. In, uh, I have not given this car because it's a four wheels, other it will be work. But this Ratha, his horse is totally five. So Indriya are five. And this driver, so here this we can put wheel also for if steering, you know, steering, steering, not steering, I think it should be all here. Can compare is a rain, but here is not workout. So let me say it's a lagoon. Rain is a mind. So what happened if driver doesn't have control over horses? If driver doesn't have control on rain, how to pull out and how to make it loose? Then these horses can go in different places. So what the job of driver he is to control through this rain, control our horses. Same way, this our mind is also goes somewhere. In our horses, means Indriya also goes out. So what we needed to control or to give proper direction, we should a buddhi proper who can drive this or discrimination power with this buddhi. That's why here is written, Vignana Vana Bhavati. If driver has proper buddhi, if driver has proper discrimination, then mind also along with that only. Yuktena Manasa, then mind along with them. And for this buddhi, Indriyani Vashyani, all five sense organs are under the control. So we have to control because what the job of actually poor Indriya, their job is only one thing. They have to keep pass the message. I have seen this, I have smelled this and everything is analyzed by mind and mind starts demanding, I need this, I need this. So from, we have to stop, we have can so no to our sense organs are called the one. So how can we say no to our sense organs? We have, we should be master. We should not be driven by sense organ, but we should be master of our sense organ. And all the time they are going outside only. They have their own field is outside only. So they are always roaming. So how can we control? So here I have written. If somebody has told us some bitter words, then our mind will be angry. If I has reported something which is not good, then I again looks different. So all our five sense organ almost behaves differently. Nowadays we say that body language is changed. We can say that okay, now this, in the, this person is not okay. There is something wrong. So that's why I have shown here if this negative tendency, because I have reported or ear have reported something and minds becomes angry. So angry thoughts is passing and we becomes angry. So then how this anger is reflect on our sense organs. So that's why I have written, if anger is there, eyes becomes red. If anger are there, then we start to speak something. Our words we should not we speak. If we are really angry, then even our skin turns into it. If we are over attached with some object, if we are over attached with even person, some person, then what will happen? That is given in Gita first chapter. Siddhanti Bhama Katrani Mukham Chaparishushyati Vepatushya Sari Rene Roma Harshashya Jayati. So Arjuna was full of tears. Arjuna, even Krishna was tried to pacify him, he is not able to hear anything. And to whom we have attachment, we always see good of them. Even Duryodhana looking beautiful for him, for Arjuna. So tongue is also becomes good for that person and skin starts shivering. This all are, we can see the manifestation of our negativities on our limbs. If jealousy is there, 
then we are always would like to hear which who don't like the bitter person if somebody says this person is not good then we are very happy if if person says with whom we have jealousy if we starts to praise him then say you don't know how that person is so always our this indriyas showed what is new. so how can we keep in control only one medicine in my thinking what bhagwan is given first thought i have written is self honesty person should know these negativities are in me then only person can change otherwise whatever he keep on telling person won't change so first a person should be self honest if anger is there then our anger always comes out from indriya from i from words so what to do so first i have written our anger should not express for another person whatever we angry we are but our anger should not come out and if we cannot control our anger then what should we do so we should leave the place we can tell that person tomorrow we will discuss right now i don't like to discuss with you because if we start discussing it will end in only bad words only so we should leave the place and another thing because when anger comes you know at the time the person knows now it is you know it is surfacing in our mind so we can suggest something suppose one word is called shanta so every day when we get up from our bed every day we have to suggest our mind if today mind if becomes angry this shanta word should come this called suggestion we give suggestion to our mind we can give suggestion and immediately if mind becomes angry that word will start shanta shanta you need not be angry so we should give the suggestion but this suggestion should not be for one day it should be every day and minimum for 42 days every day when we get up every day one time every day like we are taking medicine not for now i am okay now i don't want then people are sick but if we take medicine properly then we will be okay same way to remove anger from our mind minimum we have to give suggestion for by minimum for 42 days this is one chakra will over our mind keep on this one cycle will over then mind is slowly accepted i should not be angry so this suggestion and here again i have write it down if we have anger too much and we cannot express it in, in front of anybody then only one is write it down whatever anger we have write it down and then just burn it need not to tell anyone you just burn it you can throw in the water what but burn is the better and st- i i have not written but still there are two techniques to keep our anger under check one is there is a boxing you know there is one is coming punching bed we have to keep in a room he starts punching when anger comes then even it goes out in punching bag it will go if punching bag is not allowed is not available because everybody is not boxer no then pillow is there we can keep to the pillow and start punching but anger should come out from our mind if anger will remains inside not the one day it becomes a volcano then it always first it hurt us then other person so and last thing if nobody is in our room and then we can shout whatever we like in that capacity we can shout and if people are surrounded or in living in apartment and people are surrounded then we can give gives we should go some secluded place when people are not there we shout start shouting more we shout anger will come but anger should not keep in our mind also 
and anger should not come out from our indriyas also so we can say if we become we can keep anger inside the mind and we can give proper direction is called shama and if anger should not come out from our indriyas and we just send it out it's called dama so we can you can we can treat each and every negative tendency like this one. suppose jealousy is there but we should know we have jealousy otherwise generally people give justification i am saying this one because i think like this this is always people give justification for their negative tendency they never accept i have this negative tendency if we want to change first self honesty is there but if jealousy is there dosha drishtya muhur muhu we should find out there must be some good quality with whom i am jealous because bhagwan has sent us in this earth some good quality also some bad quality also each and even from terrorist start from terrorist hardcore up to even mahatma he may have some negativities same way terrorist may have some good qualities so with whom we have jealousy we have to find out good quality and we start to admire ke bhagwan has given this good quality why should i think like this so slowly hmm? person some person no? generally we have jealousy for person only we don't have any jealousy for sub any object why we have jealousy because we always try to compare ourselves with someone else and if we cannot match with that person sometimes we may be above but generally if we are below that person's level then what can we do jealousy is start this so we try to find out some good quality even we have hatred in our mind same we can find out good quality i know there is a one there is a one family this daughter in law is there mother in law is in this mother in law every day comes to me and every day she has some complaint for her daughter in law she is not to give respect me this is giving me all the time even in what suppose for 15 years 20 years i am listening this only that this she has done this then he says can you give me some sadhana she has asked me can you give then i have asked every day you have to write what are the good qualities in your daughter in law there must be some good quality in her she is not always like us you have tried to find out and you tell me every day then now she says now i have accepted whatever she is or now i am i have no complaint but still in one way she says this is the problem but now i am not saying but then this sentence comes so still she has not accepted her daughter in law as a daughter still she is in law only not daughter so this is called hatred she just hatred her and last one is total surrender to ishwar this only works nothing is because what i have told that story no that old lady story she was listening katha and she has offered everything to ishwara same way we can offer our negative tendency we don't know where to offer so this is the best place to offer ishwara and we can tell also being self honest that i have this negative tendency i am jealous i have too much anger inside i don't know what to do plus you just guide me otherwise i am offering everything this is now your your responsibility to take care of this negative everything will work if our prayer is from heart it will work because only honesty is necessary prayer will come from heart only so in this way all the mark in this simple thing i have not written here because i has tendency to keep on seeing suppose i have written whatever even our ear has a tendency to keep on listening now our days all kids you know they have always something inside keep on hearing so we can tell 
our indriya also keep on listening keep on seeing it is not good for health if we tell our if we can able to tell our indriyas we can say we are doing dhamma this is nothing is called dhamma same way something we would like to hold it something we would like to do something for to hurt someone so we can stop our legs also if we would like to hurt someone from tongue we can say stop this all are called dhamma so dhamma means according to puja sami ji first should come dhamma and then put it should come shama because all objects come first through indriya also then they reach inside the mind so first if we can cut this from sense organ then it won't go inside so first dhamma then shama so this is called dhamma since next shama we have completed dhamma have completed fourth one is third one is called uparamaha kaha what is the meaning of uparamaha actually the meaning of uparamaha means to become a resolved literal meaning in sanskrit is called resolved his mind is composed is called uparama a one who is living in some secluded place nobody person is there and he is doing his japa his mind or her mind is uparama is called uparam but here the meaning is technical is given here technical the meaning of swadharma uparama means swadharma anushthanam eva swadharma dharma means responsibility I have kept here. I don't know, but I would like to show one thing. If is available e- easily, then pictures. Somewhere dharma must be there. Yeah. one word dharma but it has a different meaning so i have given the one meaning of dharma is duty swa dharma is called dharma then dharma common meaning is religion which dharma you are following shaiva vaishnava shakta whatever is religion they call is dharma then what i dharma means what we have seen आत्मनि प्रतिकूलानि अन्येषां न आचर यूनिवर्सल धर्म व्हाट वी आर सीइंग इन अमानित्वम द अहिंसा कंसीडर एज अ यूनिवर्सल धर्म इज आल्सो कॉल्ड धर्म बट यूनिवर्सल धर्म धर्म सर्व धर्मान परित्यज्य मामेकम शरणम रज एट दैट टाइम द मीनिंग ऑफ धर्म इज पुण्य पाप in kathopanishad eshah dharmyah eshah anu in one mantra comes at that time the meaning of dharma is atma and we were i think in gita only one one place the meaning of dharma is atma gnana so how can we understand which meaning can be applicable where so only bhashyam we are surrendered to bhashyam of shankaracharya otherwise we can give any meaning to every so here they have given swadharma anushthanam so here we need not to do punya papa anushthanam we need not to do any atma anushthanam here swadharma means only our duty was so swadharma once own if you are a teacher our duty is to teach if we are a son our duty is to serve if we are a citizen then our duty to serve of our nation so whatever duty 
is a father, is a mother, is a husband, is a wife, is a civilian, whatever comes to us, if we do it diligently without any complaint, then it's called Uparamaha. Anushthana means to do with proper way we do with diligently without any complaint. It's called Swadharma Anushthana. And why they have written is Anushthana? Whenever person pick up the Anushthana, one Anushthana must be in spiritual also only. No? Can, for nine days, if Chaitri Navaratra is continue, I will do Japa of uh, Gayatri Mantra for 24,000 times. So we always have loved this Anushthana. We never dislike any Anushthana. Same way, when we are performing our duty, whatever we, if we do with total heart, that's why it's given the name Anushthana. Anushthana, we never have any hatred for Anushthana. Then only we can pick up Anushthana. And somebody says, then if we are not, uh, if we don't love Anushthana, we can give up in between. There are many people I have found, they have started, but in between they say, now I cannot fall. So Anushthana, only we can do when we love that thing or that karya or that for any action. Then we our own duty, we can perform as Anushthana. So I love this, my duty. And when we are duting our duty with Anushthana, then that's why I have written, in our mind, there is a no conflict. This I like, this I don't like. I do whatever I should do. So no conflict. And Swadharma Anushthana, another meaning is, one should not run away from our duty. It's called Swadharma Anushthana. And last one, I have written, Swadharma Anushthana means, what we are doing, karma yoga. It's also called Swadharma, because in karma yoga, nothing we have seen. Our sattvic karma we have to perform, our own duty we have to perform, and with two bhavana, with Ishwaratma buddhi and prasad buddhi, these all are called Swadharma Anushthana. And I have written here, same what I was telling, karma yoga help us to have an attitude of uparamaha. Our mind's quality to become uparamaha, how can we develop only by performing a karma yoga? This yoga is nothing but proper attitude only. There are many, somewhere I said, I am doing nishkam karma, then I will. So karma yoga is not nishkam karma. Karma yoga is meaningful karma with proper attitude. So whatever we are doing duty with meaningfully and with proper understanding, whatever I am doing is nothing but only for Ishwara Arpan. This attitude, it means nothing else. That's why Puja Swamiji used to say karma yoga is bhavana. Bhavana means our proper attitude with regard to karma also, with regard to the acceptance of our result of action. So that's why I have written, accept our own result of action with prasad buddhi, whatever comes from Ishwara. So in my thinking, most challenging is karma yoga on, in three sun. In listening, shown nothing to do, no, we can sit and we can listen everything. Even upasana, we can sit and we can do meditation, we can do japa, is also easy, but most difficult and challenging is we live in the among people, but still we should not have bad likes and dislikes. If we are comfortable, then only they switch over on upasana. They are never, never recommended you go and do upasana. First, you have to pass to all karma yoga, you should not have any likes or dislikes in your mind because you are doing each and every karma as a Ishwara Arpan Bhuji, then your mind has no raga aggression. Then you have to go only Java. There are many yogis or many tapasvi, they come from the cave and they become angry. 
because they don't know still they are either sitting inside but when we transaction starts with people then we can come to know there is still something is sitting inside in gupa everybody offer something we can't understand there are still negative so shastra always recommended first karma yoga you keep on doing that's why when the puja sha puja swami just started this m47 See, this old chhatralaya as was hostel even sandhya gurukulam because he is in a, every sanyasi is not atmak like they have their own something negativities so how it can come out so you start work with all people and if you cannot find any thing bad in other person then you chit the shuddhi take place that's why karma yoga is very much helpful for uparam and another meaning somewhere i have read so what is the meaning of uh, uparama means this shamaha and damaha they become natural to us so when we start study not start learning car you know suppose car or something scooter if we start le- learning then our hands should be tight if even cycle if scooter even steering if somebody says you see this side so okay, i cannot see i have to i'm driving so we are very tight while while r- learning anything in a cycle scooter but after some time if we have neck or driving if we know how to drive properly then sometime we can give up our hand still car is going we can talk we can turn our head and we can talk also then we can say now driving becomes natural we can say Uh, scooter driving is become natural even cycle driving most difficult in my thinking is sky, cycle driving <laughs> so how to balance everything this both then okay, we have to pedal it out very difficult but if we come natural then we can have even sometime we can take out our legs from this pedals sometime we can take out from steering but still is goes so our cycle natural same way shamaha now i have to follow shamaha how i have to follow the maha and i should not come out but one day will come there is mind is naturally quiet our indriya naturally without any demand it's called uparam so definition of uparam is this is also our shamaha maha become natural we should not put lots of effort to make our gnana indriya our mind to become quiet so the maha is over uparamaha very beautiful this is called titiksha titiksha ka ka what is that titiksha so teacher is answer shita ushna sukha dukha then here adi is there adi means again etc etc adi sahishrutva we should be objective towards whatever hot and coolness with hunger and thirst and even pleasure and pain so again etc i have written here some people can give respect also some also have some apamana they can also have negative feeling so that's why i have by shankara says is whatever is written shitoshna we have to endure at body level here he has not but i have written shudha pipasa means hunger and thirst pipasa means thirst shudha means hunger it is always at prana level yesterday we have seen prana my portion same way sukha dukha always at mind level this is called pairs of opposite sometimes shita sometimes hot and last one is mana apamana somebody can insult us someone can respect us so at all level our mind should be objective so even somebody respect and insult i can say at what level at intellect level so all four level we have to face pairs of opposite even here shitoshnaadi 
but we can i can write here even janma mrutyu is at body level only at body level this is but happiness and sorrow sukha dukha but there are many things raga dvesha even loba moha all are at at what level mind level and last one is called respect in insult so if we able to endure for better way if we can able to see them all objectively it's called titiksha actually is called sahana shakti in sanskritam sahana shakti hai aur titiksha so there is a one verse is given in vivek chudavani very beautiful verse so what is the definition of titiksha so sahanam sarva dukhanam apratikar purvakam chinta vilap rahitam satitiksha nigadyate so main sentence is satitiksha nigadyate this is called titiksha but what is that sarva dukha naam sahana a person has to endure every pain sarva dukha naam but still we are always we have to endure no whether we like it or whether we don't like we have to endure but that's why it is written how can we have to do this endurance sahana so there are two adjectives are used apratipa apratikara purvakam sahana and another is chinta vilap rahitam sahana so we have to endure all pain but without any resistance apratikara purvakam means without any resistance and chinta vilap literally translation of chinta we can say i anxiety it's called chinta i had too much worry is called chinta vilapa means to cry in gujarati also vilapa is crying i don't mean i think hindi also in cry also but here is totally different meaning of chinta and vilapa it both of our pain what we are enduring it should be bereft of chinta and vilapa if we can do like this then it is called titiksha kathayati nigadyate is equal to kathyate nigadyate but detail of this tomorrow we will see because i don't like to start this i can finish before 3 minutes o purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम नमस्ते यू कैन आल्सो आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन पुट इन आवर ग्रुप टू मच इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन ओके प्रणाम 